When we think of the glory of God, we should think of the majesty of Almighty God. And we should, I think, in fundamental terms, understand the otherness of God. God as creator uh, in Genesis 1 means that God is the one who is over all things. Only a transcendent being can create. And if that being, that divine being, is transcendent, by necessity that being is glorious. To use a, a term from the writings of Jonathan Edwards, one of my favorite theologians, that being is excellent. And Edwards didn't mean, you know, you get an A on the take-home worksheet. Excellent job. Edwards meant there is this conjunction of glory, of beautiful attributes, altogether great and glorious qualities of God that we find. So when we think of the glory of God, we think of majestic, transcendent, wonderful otherness. I'm not sure we have done more to precisely unpack glory in giving such a definition, but actually I think your understanding of God as glorious isn't really something you can boil down. You can really only expand it such that it holds the weight, the doxa in the Greek, the kabod in the Hebrew, that it rightly bears.